So I'm the chair of the Foreign Languages and Literatures Department at Middle Tennessee State. The first thing to do, um, typically, if you're looking for a graduate degree, is to talk to your undergraduate professors. Mm -hmm. And I think the second thing to do is look around at the universities that are uh, close to where you live. If you want to teach high school, then you'll want to find a program that's focused on teaching. The Masters of Teaching degree, for example, that we offer here at Middle Tennessee State is really designed to help people teach lower language courses and some upper language courses. But something like a master's degree or typically a PhD is designed to help you learn to be a scholar. And that MA typically is just a stepping stone for you to get to the PhD program. So the, the, the outcome is, is different. It depends on what you want to do with your degree. Our graduate students need to have essentially the equivalent of a major in the language, uh, at least a minor, but typically a, a major and a certain level of proficiency before they start, which is uh, typically um, on the actful scale, a, an advanced low or an intermediate high at a minimum. Enthusiasm <laughs> and a keen interest in people of other cultures, just to name a few. Yes, because the world is getting smaller and smaller and we travel more frequently, we have access to peoples in other countries and to their languages. We need to know their languages so that we can communicate. I think that there is a misunderstanding that English is spoken all over the world and that's just simply not true. It, it, <laughs> yes, people do learn English, but when they want to really communicate, they prefer to communicate in their own language. And so we, as Anglophones, also have to make efforts to learn about other languages and the cultures that go with those languages. It's very, very important. So for those reasons, it's a great time to learn languages and to teach uh, children to open their eyes to other cultures. It's very exciting. I think that there are still pockets of people who are looking long term and who still believe in the value of education. And so someone who is very motivated should look for those places. Now, there's a second avenue, too, and that is to combine a foreign language degree with something else like a business degree mm -hmm. or a marketing degree. And, and that makes you all the more marketable. I think the biggest challenge is to get students to let go of their um, reticence, their, their fear of making a mistake, because really communication is just about sharing ideas. It's not about being perfect or saying things perfectly. That's the biggest challenge in the classroom. Students don't want to make a mistake in front of their peers. In the middle of the state, we have access to Nashville, and yet we're a medium-sized city, so it's a great place to live. And also because our department is so diverse. Like I said, we have the 12 languages, and that adds a richness to the environment here that I think you don't see in more language-specific programs. I would say, too, that because we focus on teaching students how to teach, our degree is more relevant for a lot of students. SAMLA, which is what we call it, mm -hmm. is um, mostly a place for teachers to gather and 
seek inspiration from each other. And so we have, um, we all deliver papers. We have uh, different panels, some of which are focused on teaching, some of which are focused on research. And scholars get together and share ideas. Uh, it's also a place where scholars of foreign language, teachers of foreign language, can hear papers given in the target language, hear about different techniques, what are some successful techniques that other teachers are using. Um, so it's a, it's a, a great place to, to shop for new ideas.